you know, I just, I just felt like a one man army on my own. I don't know what it was. I just always had the heart of a lion. I am a Leo. So I always thought I was a lion anyway. So I just, uh, man, it was just ruthless, man. You know, um, uh, chase money. That's what it was all about. Me, 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 take her, take her. And, uh, in 2017, I cried out to God genuinely, man. I opened my heart. And it took something. I was at what I call crossroads in my life. To where it was either, because the evil one knows all my past. He knows what I did. I mean, he was right there watching me, laughing at me, man, making fun of me. And uh, I really was at a crossroads, bro. This guy left me stuck for quite a, quite a bit. We're almost 40 grand. And um, the old me wanted to go. And I mean, I mean, all these thoughts was coming in my mind. I wanted to kidnap this dude. I mean, and just just do bad things. You know, I, I mean, I had all these thoughts just coming on me, coming on me, coming on me. And I said, you know what? God, I'm going to try you out. I'm going to try you out. I'm going to see what you're talking about. So I dropped down on my knees, man. And I cried out with a genuine heart. And not even two minutes later when I got up off my knees and this is in the middle of the night, I'm, I'm, I'm wide awake, can't sleep. I turn the TV on. That's why I asked brother Mark about Joseph Prince because he was on that TV. And right when I turned it on, he had a prayer for people that have never asked Jesus into their heart, man. So I'm looking around like, what God, is this you really like? So I prayed the prayer with him, man. I prayed that prayer fellas. That spirit come to that TV and grabbed a hold of me, man. And I just wept like I ain't never wept in my life, man. I felt the touch of that Holy Spirit. And I've been on fire for Jesus since. In my own home, man. You know, and I've been to prison. I mean, I've been through a lot, man. We'd be here all night sharing my testimony. But I'm just bouncing around, giving you a little bit, man. If he can take a thieving, drug dealing, lying, cheating man like me. And turn him into a cheerful giver. I tell another man I love him. I weep when the spirit fills me up. And I don't care who sees it or hears it. I just want him to feel it, man. I want him to feel that spirit and how powerful it is. And just let him know that Jesus loves us, man. And it's his love for us is what matters. My love can never compare to how much he loves us, man. And once you realize that, it's just amazing, man. Open your heart. If I can just tell you anything, open your heart and put him first and watch him put you first in everything you put your hands to, man. It's true. He is for real. He's alive, man. We have a real king, man. And it's amazing, amazing what he can do if you just be real with him. You know how everybody says, oh, I'm going to be real, I'm going to be real, and they say one thing and do another. That drives me nuts, man. Honestly, I can't stand that. People say something and don't do it, and they tell me things. Sometimes I don't know. You know, I know it's a blessing, but sometimes it feels like a curse of this memory the, bless, the Lord has blessed me with, man. Because people tell me things, man, and then they forget. It's like they get amnesia, and they're like, oh, and I'm like, you know, I can't even call them out on it. I got to be like, Lord, you know what the man said to me, you know, and he always makes it right. I don't even have to confront the people, man. That's what's so amazing. He really does fight our battles. I can't believe it. I, just, I still can't believe it. I'm just blown away how he fights my battles. And all I did was use weapon as my, my, uh, my weapon was a melody. Praise and worship, man. Praise and worship. He's led me to that. I got to hear it everywhere I go. Just listen and saturate my soul, man. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And I learned, man, especially you, Cannon, being on the road, man, you put that praise and worship in your ears everywhere you go, man, watch what the Lord's going to do for you, man. I'm telling you right now, the evil one had me on lockdown thinking, I can't bring the word with me. You know, you just did this. You just smoked a blunt. You just argue with your wife. You just, you know, you just cussed somebody out five minutes ago. How are you going to praise, praise God, you know? And this is what I hear, man. I can hear from the evil one, too. But God speaks to my heart. That's the difference. The evil one attacks here, but God attacks right here, man. My heart. 
And now that I'm walking with him, it's so easy to discern the difference. It takes two seconds when I meet somebody with the Lord on me, with me, to tell whether they're with it or they're not, man. And if they're not, it ain't my place to judge. I got to remove myself from them. Plain and simple. But God is good, fellas. That's all I can tell you. Open your hearts. Open your hearts. That's the whole key. Because God's eyes are everywhere. He sees good and evil. You ain't going to hide it from him, bro. You could try, but he sees it every time. So that's all That's all I can tell you, man. I don't want to talk y'all to death, but this is serious business, man. It's serious business. Just as serious as you take them loads, Cannon, or making that deadline or whatever it is, any of y'all, whatever you do, Reg, you're changing that motor. That's how serious this is, man. If you mess that motor up, you're going to have to buy a new one. You know? No, they ain't going to have that, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, and uh, like you said, you I've been blessed with many gifts too, like... man. <laughs> I work on my hot rod. I change the engine, change the tranny, all that, and, and we'll build you a house. Mm-hmm. You know, so he's blessed That's me with multiple tough, gifts, man. man. You know, Amen. multiple gifts. So it's, this is like you say, man. Our stories are a lot alike. It's just if you open up, he'll bless you with them, man. And uh, all that, man. I mean, I even work on my wife's Jaguar, bro. I never, you look at Jaguar, I say, I can't work on this. Ain't no way. You pop that hood. What is all this? Man, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but with the Lord, I changed the water pump, the starter. Man, I, that Jaguar ain't nothing but nuts and bolts, bro. <laughs> at the end of the day, that's how I look at it, too, man. It's nuts and bolts. I pull it out. Okay, I got to remember that goes there. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's for real, though, man. I do all my own work on my hot rod and everything. I got 600 horsepower, running like a champ. It's an old Cutlass. I love wrenching on that thing, man. Cutlass the Lord has blessed me with many gifts. Many gifts. Amen. But just open your hearts, fellas. That's, I'm going to leave you with that, man. Open your heart. Brother Let Kenan, him in. I, I want to say.